Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 1, Episode 5 of The Summer I Turn Pretty. This time the title of the episode is Summer Catch. And we're here, we're back, we are ready for a new episode of this incredible show. Thank you so much to Terrell for sponsoring the entire first and second season of this show. I hope you enjoy my reactions, I hope you... Uh, continue supporting for more. I will definitely, you know, I decided to do a bench for the first season uh, between yesterday and today because honestly, it's a, it's a short season and I thought it would be better if I just, you know, and I, I was in the mood of for binging. I wasn't in the mood. So I can change, you know, <laughs> things can change. And like, I, I don't know, I thought it was going to be a good idea and I I do love that I, I get to be here. And, and also... After this, I'm gonna do, you know, not today, but tomorrow, I'm gonna do Wizards of Waverly Place, and then I'm also going to do Shira uh, benches. So that's what's going to happen this week. Uh, and yeah, that will be, you know, this week. Next week, I think we're gonna return to normal schedule with all the shows, you know, all the different shows. So yeah, I really hope that you guys uh, enjoy and like it and, you know, continue supporting for more. Thank you for watching, thank you for everything. The previous episode ended with Conrad and Belly almost kissing and Jer being kind of <laughs> a little bit petty, throwing the fireworks at them just so they wouldn't kiss, which is kind of like aggressive, but at the same time I'm like petty, you know, and like I'm like, <laughs> it was hilarious to me, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but anyway, so. We're gonna watch episode five. Uh, after this, we only have two more episodes to go for the season one finale. So stay tuned for that because if you are on Patreon, we are going to watch every uh, single last episode of season one today. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but for now, I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. Thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit notification bell. On Cut Reaction, it's always posted first on Patreon. In case you guys want to check it out, link in the description down below. And if you're already on Patreon, give it a heart. Continue supporting for more. You will get to watch the next two episodes today with me. Uh, and if you are on YouTube watching this, I'm probably already on season two. So in case you guys want to be, uh, you know, watch it in, a, in, in advance, you can join my Patreon. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. And... That's it. Without further further ado, let's just begin with season uh, one, episode five of The Summer I Turn Pretty. Here we go. One of my favorite memories of Summer and Cousins started with a song and ended with a boy. Stevie, I need a partner. Yeah, right. Belly, you're not even on the beat. Shut up! How'd you learn to shag? My mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's Sorry. fine. Let's it's so it's adorable. Okay. <laughs> and I like seeing Conrad smile, you know? You're doing great, honey. Attention, everyone. Please welcome our debutante waltz instructor, Ms. Covington. School of Ballroom Dance in Newton. That's a thing? Thank you. It's uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll be your partner for today. Oh, that's really? sweet. Sure, I'm your deb sister, but you need an escort for the big night. Oh, hey, you. Oh, he is happy. It's rare seeing them, seeing him smile. And I was wondering if you've seen enough metal today. Um. Oh, right. No, he was he was still asleep when I left. What's with a good mood? Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> Not them, but you know what What are you guys I mean. doing out there anyway? Oh, you know, we're about to smooch. Just talking. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't like fighting with you. Me neither. <laughs> I'm not trying to manage your life. I'm just worried about you and the boys. Look, I know that you're just trying to help, but I need to be the one who decides how things go right now. Just a few Heck. more weeks. That's all I need. Oh, I'm for so the sorry. love of all God. No, it's all right. It's okay. <laughs> I have your stamp? Yes, actually, she's all yours. <laughs> actually, yes. <laughs> You're gonna get me in trouble with Paige. Mm -hmm. Hey, Alexa. Over her. Play So Pretty. So Pretty by Rana Maria. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait, is this gonna be like the Vampire Diaries having the two brothers fight for the what love of that? one girl? What <laughs> is going on here? Catch you later, boss. Going <laughs> Jeremiah. Oh, Conrad is here. All right, Ooh. everyone, let's try that again. I don't like to see her again. I think you know who that is, Definitely right? Definitely text her. Someone important must like you because you've been promoted to the card room. Oh. The club is a card room? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brought us some avocado and sprout sandwiches. Thank you. Aww. He's very sweet. I but I can't help thinking that I wish I was here with Conrad. The heart wants what the heart wants sometimes, you know? You should take him. Yes. And I could bring Steven. Yes. Let's be cheesy and run to limo. <laughs> yeah, you're an amazing brother. Yeah. Mm, right. He's doing this all for himself. <laughs> I, I caught a fish you once. Head back? <sighs> Not until you tell me about your mystery, girl. Years of overpriced therapy. <laughs> Said you can't be good with someone else until you're good with yourself. Well, that much is true. They're I'm awesome. And, and you're awesome. Oh, you're breaking up. But, um... Oh. I kind of saw this coming. When you, uh, didn't ask me to be your escort. Didn't mean to hurt you. Still, I know. Sure. Um... Such a sweet kid. Speaking. Walk around with my chest out of my oh! face, move, I'm healthy. Hi, did I just saw an, an old ad? Like a smart kid, you know poker? Well, I've dabbled. You got a theory on pocket twos? Well, I generally play them. Man. Big mistake, I'll call. You better be right, kid. Uh, well, I didn't mean for you to bet at all. Come on, baby. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Boom! I told you, I like this kid. <laughs> Our moms? High key stoned right now. <laughs> no way. Yeah, all my favorite snacks are gone. Okay. How about it all? Holy cow. <laughs> I told you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Our beautiful baby. Oh, oh, look at Castillo. It wasn't planned. One thing led to another, and we ended up having sex in my car. La, 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 la. Oh! <laughs> he does have that oh, kind of. Little boy. <laughs> that kind of uh, free spirit thing. Yeah, like. Speak. It feels a little bit different this summer, though. Mm. Summer's the same. We're the ones who are changing. I think it might be my best work. Belly? <laughs> what? Is that because it's just high? Uh, it's so, and Jackson Pollock had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Oh yeah. my <laughs> <laughs> One of the partners at my firm, Chinese guy, all his kids got into the Ivies. I think those people were born with textbooks. <laughs> you? 50. That's, uh white old dudes. I was expecting something like, like that, honestly. He knows, doesn't he? He knows. Oh, damn. I, I broke up with Cam. Why? Last night, you and I almost kissed. Did we? I was pretty wasted. I don't really remember much. Damn. Really, I think about you. I do. Like, you know I do. I can't. I'm not waiting for you anymore. Oh, Conrad! I feel bad for him right now. I overreacted. I'm sorry, too. Hooking up with your brother on your birthday was a lot. I really wish you were here. Aww. Oh, definitely. Do you have money to pay? We don't have any money. <laughs> Let's do this the old fashioned way. What's the old fashioned way? Catch and release, baby. <gasps> oh! No. My god, you guys are all. <laughs> it's a pussycat doll. Girlfriend was hot like me. Leave it alone. Cause if it ain't Really? What? We can kill you to clean that. <laughs> oh, what happened to the good mood Conrad from this morning? Who's blowing up your phone? Nicole. She wants me to go to Yarmouth Music Fest next weekend. <laughs> Dear. You still w won't help. She gonna fuck right here? Hey. Are they the ex? I know you. Oh, snack bar at the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game. He was talking about some busboy being a poker expert. Is that you? 
Apparently, yeah. <laughs> Dude, me and my boys, we got a regular game. It, it's totally chill, so maybe not your level, but anytime you want to jump in. Assholes. Word, word, yeah, yeah. Thanks. All right. Delicious, right? <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. Love Thank you. Thank you. I can't oh, see. This is beautiful. I can't see. Oh. <sighs> Don't show me your oh, penis. I, I didn't bring. Uh... Well, woman, you already had sex with this weirdo, so he's in for a relationship. But he is. Is it healthy to fuck? In a lake? Pretending. Huh. <laughs> Look at him. Right, let's get you upstairs. He has tears in his eyes. No falling today. <laughs> oh, bells. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. Is he gonna tell? Oh! You're my best friend. Sometimes oh. I wanted to be Mark. I was just waiting. Oh, for me. Is she gonna do it just because Con? Oh. About to kiss Jeremiah Fisher. Oh. Ah! Okay. No. Bitch. Okay, guys. So that was the end of season one, episode five of the summer I turned pretty. I, look, I have been telling you guys for a bit now that I do like Belly and Jer, Jeremiah, more than I liked Conrad and, and her. I, I, I like, go back two episodes ago. Two, three episodes ago. I have a whole, like, uh, the explanation why I don't think that Conrad is right for her. Okay? In comes episode, the previous episode, in this episode, um, where I'm, like, absolutely sure that he knows what his mom is going through. And that's the reason why he's so, you know, uh, feels the pain and, like, you know... He's holding on to like the, the the way he hold he held, you know the uh, thing that she uses to to paint, and then when he you know saw her in the stairs and he he was just pleading honestly his voice was so sweet and so like broken like calling for his mom it was just devastating okay and I think that all of that. You know, and the fact that he kind of has this idea that he has to be the one that takes care of everyone. And he is not allowed to, you know, have fun or do what he wants. Uh, because he has to be the responsible one. So he's not acting on his emotions due to that. And with that, I mean that he does like Belly. I think it's clear as day that he does have feelings for for her belly but that he's not acting on them because he feels that taking care of his mom eventually you know his home and his brother and all of that it's putting a lot more weight on him than the fact that he he wants to just be happy he is completely different from Jeremiah who doesn't have that weight over his shoulder. Now, I'm not saying that he is careless and like, you know, but he's there living his life unaware of things. I think that things will be a lot different and your priorities will change a lot if you knew what I think Conra knows. You know? So, I just I for in this I I love I still love Belly and 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 Jeremiah, I I love them. I think that they're great. I think that you know sometimes you do, and especially at such a young age, you do want to have a relationship where it's fun and it's light and it's you know, um, and 
right now Conrad is not up for that at all because he has, you know, his problems in, and he's bottling things up, you know. Um, but I do not think, I think that the kiss and the fact that Belly kind of let herself go in this episode with, with, uh, with, with Jer, I don't think it's because she's like, oh, I actually do like him. And no, I think it's as a response to Conra's words a few hours earlier, you know? Uh, you can't go from liking one boy to, oh, you know what? Since he doesn't want to pay me any attention, I'm just going to hook up with uh, uh, his brother. You know, I don't think it's that easy. It might seem at the moment like it is. Uh, there is, you know, you want those words to come out of Conrad and he's not saying them. You don't understand why you believe that it's because maybe he doesn't have th those same feelings for you or maybe he has some but like are not as strong as Jer Jeremiah's, you know, and so you go for the person who's actually paying you more attention. And so she automatically says yes and without a, th a second thought, she's like, Susanna told me that I was going to end up with one of her boys. Well, it wasn't Conrad, okay? So I'm going to take Jeremiah now. And, like, it's kind of like, it's the response I will expect from someone who is as young as Belly is, who is starting today, who is starting to, you know, understand what love and all of that uh, means. And I honestly, I don't hold it against her at all, you know? I don't hold it against Jeremiah either because he was kind of sabotaging uh, the, the whole... Uh, uh, Conrad and Belly thing, you know. Although he did, like, the only thing he did was, like, getting him away from a, for a weekend. Um, but at the end of the day, it was Conrad, the one who, you know, actually des decides to to take a step back, you know. Um, I do understand, like, the uh, guy, the, the other, Cleveland, right? Whatever his name is. Um, he said that in order for you to be able to be with someone, you do need to be comfortable with yourself and, and, and understand yourself and be at peace with yourself. He's not. There's still, there, there is anger, you know, there is uh, this fear. We're talking about the possibility that he knows that his mom is going to die in X amount of time. So he's not coping with it. Right. So there's going to be rage. There's going to be, you know, ups and downs. And honestly, you understand his mood swings and all of them. And like, you're kind of like, what do you expect from someone so young that knows this secret that he can share with anyone and he can talk because maybe he's not supposed to know, but for some reason he does know, you know? So it's, it's difficult. And I feel for him. I, I really do. I feel for him. I feel that, you know, it's unfair what is happening to him, you know, to be put in the position of, like, you're the oldest, so you're the one th that is the, the responsible one, the one that can make mistakes, the one that can live, you know, carefree because you have to be the responsible one. And at the same time, this is a boy who's about to lose his mom and knows about it and can't talk to to anyone because he has to hold it in in order to protect the others. You know, so he's, I feel he's, he's being pushed uh, to grow up a lot faster than the others. And because of that, he feels that he has more responsibilities. And so uh, he's, honestly, he's, he's just auto-sabotaging himself, you know. Is that even the right thing to say? Yeah. You know, he's just doing that because he's like, yeah, I shouldn't pay attention to this when my priority should be this, you know? So I feel for him. I don't think that he, you know, has, um, I don't think he has any, any, uh, uh, I mean, I do think he has feelings for Belly, but I don't think he's going to act on them anytime soon. Uh, because of everything that is coming to him. And now the fact that Jer 
does these things and he's more carefree and all of that life has given him and like his family dynamic and dynamic and all of that have given him the chance to not be the one in charge of everything you know and because of that position he can be making risks and you know doing all this sort of things because you know um he's not the the one who's like everything will fall on conrad so I do believe his feelings are, 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 are real, though. I do believe that he likes Belly and he has been waiting for this time where he could confess his love for, for her. I do believe that, you know. Uh, and he's not at fault that the family dynamic is the way that it is. Um, and I believe he's, he's real with what he feels. Um... But I don't know if this the, the the fact that they are together right now after that conversation with Conrad, with Be Belly and Conrad, I don't think, you know, that it's it's uh, I don't think it's going to like because Conrad will be always will always be in the back of her head, you know. And I did not want that. I wanted her to actually be with Conrad, realize that she doesn't like him, you know, and it was a childhood thing. Uh, and then they, she moved on and realized that she actually liked Jeremiah. That's what I wanted, you know? But we're taking a, a different turn, I guess. Let's see what comes out of it. Um, and yeah, I mean, they're, they're hella cute. They are hella cute together. Like, I'm not saying that I'm not shipping them because I am. I feel like I, I love them. I love them together, you know? I think they're, they, they are great. And they could be, but they could be so amazing only if Belly just kind of understands that nothing can happen with Conrad and that she fully commits to this relationship. Because if not, it's going to be the same thing with that happened with Cam, you know, and at the end she's going to, you know, break up because she still wants to be with this other boy, you know, and I don't want that because I want this to, you know this to be it and this reminds me of the vampire diaries so much you know because two brothers fighting for not fighting but like you know liking the same girl without being vampires you know but other than that <laughs> it's kind of similar um but yeah man i don't know but see, with, with Stay Lena and Day Lena, that happened, you know. Uh, uh, Elena was with uh, one first. I'm not going to say who, just so no, I don't spoil anything. Uh, one of the brothers first, you know, uh, had a beautiful relationship, blah, blah, blah. But realized that she was actually meant to be with the other one. And that other one was the one that stayed, you know, uh, and was endgame uh, uh, by the end of the series. And that's what I wanted, but it's not happening. So that could have mean that, you know, Conrad and Belly are going to be the ultimate couple, which I don't, I, you know, I don't feel like it could be a bad thing either. But I still love Jer, Jer and Belly. <laughs> the hell am I gonna do god damn it you know it was so much easier when I didn't like Conrad when we didn't knew anything about Conrad and I was like okay he's moody and he's like uh, you know being annoying so like th let's not pay attention to his you know uh, uh sorrows or anything like that but then when you kind of understand you're kind of like why would you be mean with 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 him you know what I mean so I'm kind of like let's protect Conrad as well you know God damn it, I wasn't supposed to like both of them. <laughs> Anyways, then we have uh, Steven, who was in into the poker room, whatever it is, secret one, whatever. Um, and the guys, bleh, disgusting. At first I was like, of course, they're rich dudes. He's the one there to help. Of course, they're going to be like, hand me this, hand me that. Str bring me this, bring me that. You're supposed to be there you know, attending, and they're tipping well, so that's okay. Um, but then they started to being racist. 
Oh, old old Chinese people, all like this. You know, they're supposed to be smart. They come out with a textbook. So, you know, saying all kinds of racist shit in front of Steven. And I was like, oh, no, we got to beat someone's ass. You know, we can't. But, um, yeah, that happened. And then there is this, like, when Steven comes out, he's like, yeah, maybe that's not for me. I, I just, I can't take it. You know, I, 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 I shouldn't. I, I, like even if I'm I'm the help I'm helping here and I'm the waitress and or the waiter I'm not supposed to you know just sit idle and be like oh you guys are so funny being racist like you know he's not going to do that and then someone who's older than him that is I'm going to guess his boss or something like that hands him the tips and it's a lot of money and he's kind of like um uh, kind of like, oh, don't listen to these assholes. At the end of the day, uh, you know, we make good money, we get out, we live our lives, and, like, we don't take a, a second, you know, we don't have a second thought about these dudes. Like, let's, don't let that ruin the possibility of you making money so you can, you know, have good things as, as well. Which I understand that, and that is one position you can take, but then there is... Stevens, which is also extremely valid, that he just doesn't want to be belittled and 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 you know humiliated just because he's serving food or you know that's just not okay. That is just not okay. And then the children of those idiots come up to him and they are like oh, yeah, we also have a poker thing. Maybe you want to go and take it. And, like, I'm kind of like, okay, let's not do this because, like, if the parents are racist, probably those two little white boys are also racist, you know? So let's not do that, you know? But I don't know what the hell is going to happen there because Steven, you know, uh, has this necessity of proving that, uh, he could be at the same level as the girlfriend because she comes from money, so he wants to pretend that he also has that, uh, you know, and it's just, I really hope that that doesn't hurt him, you know, at the end. Um, Susanna, who sometimes calls, uh, they call her Beck, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, they had a her and um, Laurel had a an edible. Uh, destroy the house uh, in the process, and they kind of relieve their freshman year uh, by hooking up with a guy that will pay their tab because they walked out of the house not having money, you know. Uh, but it was sweet seeing them, you know, carefree and just having fun and all of that. Um, uh, but then, you know, reality kind of hits and I don't know, it makes, it made me extremely sad. Then I saw old man's ass, which like, why did I need that? Anyways, so I'm not going to keep you guys, even though I already ranted for like 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to watch episode six right after this summer ties um, and I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys continue supporting for more because I will be doing, uh, the next two reaction videos for this series today. So thank you, uh, Terrell for sponsoring se season one and season two of this show. Uh, thank you to everyone who's watching. If you're watching on YouTube, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncount reactions always posted first on Patreon. Also, if you want to watch, watch episode six and episode seven and probably season two, Go and check it out. Link, like I said, is on the description. If you're on Patreon, give it a heart, comment, share your thoughts. What do you think uh, about Conrad? The relationship between Conrad and Belly, and now Belly and and <laughs> Belly and um, and Jeremiah. You know what do we think? Um, Oh, Cam is going to be like, oh, I knew it. I knew that you wanted to hook up with, with Jeremiah. Though that was not in her plans, you know. Uh, so, let me know. Talk to me. We can have a conversation in the comment section down below. Please don't spoil anything. 
Uh, I know it's tempting, but please don't do it. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching and thank you for all your support. You guys are incredible. Uh, if you're watching on, on YouTube, I already am done with season one, so you can talk about the entire season, but not if you are on Patreon. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. You guys are incredible. Uh, and that's it. Yeah. Thank you, Terrell. Once again, I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for the summer. I turned pretty. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.